All right, so you're ready to build and publish your game. Or maybe you're not and you're still interested in finding out how to do that. But it's actually pretty simple. All we have to do is go to File, Build Settings, and then here we have to make sure in our Scenes to Build to add our open scenes. That basically means we add in our current scene that we are on and it will add it to the build so it will be included in the build. And then we have our platforms that we can select from. Um, by default, it's PC, Mac, and Linux. If you want to change to either of these, you have to go to your Unity Hub. And then under Installs and under the current version you're working on your project, you just click these little three dots and add modules. And then you can add in Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, etc. I currently have also downloaded WebGL's build support for this project, meaning that you can play the game online without needing to download it. So that's very useful in itch.io. If you don't want anyone to download your game and you just want them to be able to play it in the browser, you can use WebGL as well. So we actually want to change the name and icon of our game, so we can do that in the player settings. And at the top, you can put your company name, your product name, which is the name of your game, the version of the game, and the default icons. There's also some extra settings down here. There's some icon overrides if you want different icons for different resolutions. We have some settings under resolution and presentation. And then we have some settings under the splash image, which is what Unity shows at the beginning. You can also add your own, but if you're using Unity free version, it will show their logo at the start. We also have some other settings. If you're building for um, mobile, you'll need to fine tune some of these, such as the bundle identifier, which is how your game is identified on the App Store. It's identified by your company name and your game name. And then if you're on Android build mode, it will come up with an API compatibility. And depending on what API version the Android Store requires, you just change it depending on what they require. So once again, we go to File Build Settings, and then we can press Build. And then here, it's where our current project folder is. I want to right-click and create a new folder, and I will call that Builds. I like to be organized, so that's why I have the certain folders. And then here, I can do a new folder, and I can call this PC Build. And then here, I can select a folder. And it will take some time to build, but once it has, it will put an exe file along with some other files into that directory. And then we can zip all of those files up and then put it into itch.io or whatever website that you want. All right, so once it's done, it's opened up the folder that we build it to. And as you can see, we have some files here. You need all of these files to be able to play the game, but if we click the exe, then it will open up the game. And we'll be able to play it. But to upload to itch.io, we have to select all of these folders, right click, send to compressed zipped folder, and then we can name the zipped folder anything we want. So we can name it test. And then if we go to itch.io, if you make an account and then on the top right you have your username, you can click the little drop down and upload a new project and it will take you to this page. And here you can put in your title, the project that URL that you want. Um, your description tags, and this is where the important part is. It asks you what kind of project you're uploading. So if you're uploading a PC build, Mac or Linux, you have to press downloadable. So you can press upload file, and then you can put in that zip file and it will upload it. But to upload it, you have to make sure that you have a title in the create a new project or else it will not let you to upload it. And so that's how to do a PC build. If you want to do a WebGL build, you have to make sure that you have the WebGL installed. So in your Unity Hub version, we go to your version, add modules, and once again, you download that WebGL support. And then to switch to WebGL support, you just click on WebGL and you switch platform. And if you downloaded the WebGL add-on while you had Unity open, you have to restart the editor or else it will not switch properly. So then we just wait a while until this is done compiling. All right, so after 10 million years, it has switched to WebGL, and now we can actually build the game. So if we just press build, and once again, we go into the builds library, then we can create a new folder, and we can call this the WebGL build, because we don't want the files to mix with each other, because then we'll be like, which one was for the PC build, and which one was for the WebGL build. So let's just make the separate folders, and then you just press build, and now it will take 
quite a while once again. All right, so now it's finished doing the WebGL build and now we have these files here in our WebGL build folder and then we can just select all of them and then right click and then send to compressive folder. We can call that just WebGL. And then in the itch.io, if you want to do a WebGL instead of a downloadable, you just have to put HTML under kind of project. We can just delete the old one and let's upload the new one. So now it's been updated and we can just put save and view page. And then it will try to load the game for you and then you can run the game. pretty neat. Yeah, so that's the basics. Um, if you want to, their, Unity actually has their own website you can upload to. If you wanted to upload to that, you can go to Window, Package Manager, and then make sure under Advanced you have Show Preview Packages, and then just search WebGL, and then there's a WebGL publisher, and then you can install that. And once it's done downloading, we can exit out of that. And then under the Publish tab, at the top, we can press WebGL Project, get started, locate existing build if you've already built it. And for me, it has some difficulty loading the existing build, So, but creating a new build works. And after you create a new build, a screen like this will pop up where you have the game name and a thumbnail that you can put. And then after it's done uploading, bam, you'll have your link and you can just click the link and play it there. I just prefer itch.io since more people are on that site. And then one last thing before I go, um, you do have to make sure you don't have any errors to be able to build a game. So to check if you have any errors, you if you click play, it won't play, or you can just go to the console and there might be a little red arrow here. So let me just make an error as an example. So I've cleared the console and you can see here we have an error on line 16. The type or namespace audio source could not be found. So if you double click that error, it will take you to the line where the error is and then it's pointing to this and it says it can't find what this means and that's because, well, that doesn't exist. In programming, you have to make sure that everything is capitalized correctly because things are cap sensitive. At least that's how it goes in all of the C languages, which this is a C sharp. And so that's the gist of it. Um, thank you for watching um, this video, or if you've been along for the series, thank you for watching the series. I greatly appreciate all of the support I've received so far. If you haven't, I have a Discord channel, which I will link below, and you can ask any questions there, or if you have any recommendations, then you can put it there as well. And thanks so much for watching. I'll have more exciting content coming soon, and good luck on your game dev journey.